Good day, everybody. Kurgan Pitts is back and uh, up and running. Uh, at first, I want to say that um, uh, there was a uh, minor incident last night, so I'm a little bit hungover, but it's not gonna stop me. Any fucking now. Right, Niklas? Yeah. And right. Niklas is always here, holding the camera. And he's a little Little bit sad over that his uh, Siamistic twin Ben uh, came back and called him last night, and he was so drunk. And uh, he no, he didn't. He didn't call. No, nope. he called somebody because he, I was at the same same place as him. So. Ah, he must have called you Siamese, Siamese foot or something like that. Mm. This, this, this is you have the Siamese foot. Oh dear God! It's a foot head on the loose. Holy shit! Anyhow, the horn is back, everybody. Today's album that we're gonna go into review is uh, a American speed metal band. The album was released in 1986 by the band Purgatory who I think was the same man that uh, forced uh, Iced Earth to change their name because at that time Iced Earth was called Purgatory also. Uh, we were talking about the title two tracks and a little bit funny here is doesn't the guy on the album cover here doesn't he look like uh, doesn't he look like Blackie Lawless from Wasp a little bit? Hmm. And uh, another very, very strange thing about this album is that it's the original singer of a Mushroom Head. And I don't, I still don't get why the fuck he would go do Mushroom Head when he, you know, did this incredible piece of art, really. I mean, it's great fucking speed metal from, from the US. And as we all know, U.S. speed metal is fucking great. I'm going to listen to the song "Tired to the Tr Tired to the Tracks," "Tied to the Tracks," which is uh, the uh, theme of the whole fucking thing, or something like that. I, my my English doesn't really cover this right now, but uh, that's because I have a camera in my face. Uh, anyhow, this is "Tired to the Tracks," and as you can hear, it's like a train in the beginning here. It goes a little bit faster. Let's go turn it up a little bit. We can get a little more acoustic on it. And as always, uh, due to the fact that Niklas doesn't have a vinyl player, we're not going to play the vinyl issue, but we have it on TV. Um, I don't know why I fucking said that, but any fucking how. Uh, Niklas, would you take it away with your wisdom word before I give a little bit more info on the album, if I can give any, any info? Milk is useful. Oh yeah, indeed. Cheers on that. Uh, I don't have any actual info on it more than that it's, uh, as I said, Mushroomhead's 
singer, and I, I still, for the life of me, can't understand why the fuck he would uh, change this type of music. But it's so it's it's his own thing if he wants to do that. I, I don't I don't blame him, but I think it's sad because Purgatory was really fucking great. Uh, the album contains a couple of um, very interesting, very classic speed metal sounding uh, album uh, uh, track titles such as title tracks Deep in the Red, the Screaming Machine, Night of the Crawling Bi Crawler Bitch, uh, Fear of the Night and um, so on so on so on so on. And it's produced by Steamhammer. If I don't remember myself right, Steamhammer is a uh, uh, German label. And Aspidia, which I know is a German label. Uh, Sean Roger made this in uh, 86. And I really hate the backside. I don't know why, but it's so fucking irritating to see this, you know. With this, the same young one that you cut out the guy and the whole thing there. Um, there's nothing really more much to say about the album. Uh, it's good listening if you like speed metal, early speed metal from the US, a little bit of US power also. Um, so um, you guys should listen into it if you're into that kind of musical scene. Um, I don't have much more to say. It's a great album and uh, that's about it. Yeah, do you want to comment on something? Nope. Okay, stay fucking true.